Now we're on to a very simple, relatively simple introduction to circles. It gets much more complex next year in Algebra 2. But here's the equations for circles and graphing circles. And the equation for a circle in its standard form is actually relatively simple-ish. It's x minus h squared plus y minus k squared, where h and k, those are just numbers, they represent just numbers, and is equal to the radius squared. And h, k is where the center of the circle is. So if I were to have a, an equation that says x minus 2 squared plus y plus 3 squared is equal to 16, well then to follow this pattern, x minus h, well if that's minus 2, then h is 2. So it would mean my center is at 2, and this says minus k, and that says plus 3, so that must mean that it's the opposite, so k must be negative 3, so my center is at the coordinates 2, negative 3, and my radius is, since this is r squared, we would take the square root to find the radius, the square root of 16 is 4. So that's how you would go from a formula to find the center and radius. Now, uh, this one over here is somewhat related, but not quite, so change some things around there. You can actually also go from the graph and create an equation. So here, if I look at this, I count over 1, 2, 3, up 2, that's 3, comma 2. And the radius is the distance from the center to any part on the side. So I can count any which way, but it looks like this is going to be the easiest. It looks like the radius is 2. So I take those numbers, plug them back in. So x minus h, h is 3, x minus 3 squared plus, parentheses, y minus k is 2, 2 squared is equal to the radius squared. So 2 squared is 4, and that's all you have to do. That's the equation of that circle. Now, there are some other sort of tricky ways that they can present problems. And one of them is to give you the center and another point. So they might say something like this. Your center is at 4, negative 1. Actually, let's, for the sake of simplicity, awesome. For sake of simplicity, let's do that. And it goes through, the circle goes through 0, 0. So its center is at some point and it happens to go through the origin. So how do we figure this out? Well, they've given us most of the information that we need already, which is h and k. h is 4, k is negative 3. So we can get started. So x minus h, h is 4, so minus 4 squared plus y minus, minus a negative is positive, so plus 3 squared is equal to, now the only thing I don't know, is the radius. Well, how do you find the radius? What is the radius? The radius is a distance from the center of a circle to any point on that circle. So if this is the center and this is a point on the circle, if I can find the distance between them, that's the radius. How do you find the distance between two points? That's the distance formula. So you remember, here's the distance formula. I'm going to write it out here. x2 minus x1 squared plus y1, sorry, y2 minus y1 squared. And then at the end, you take a giant square root. So let's do this. So I'm just going to, it doesn't really matter the order as long as you're consistent. So I'm going to go this way. So one of the x's minus the other, 4 minus 0. So that's 4. And then I square it. Okay, and then I'm going to add negative 3 minus 0, well that's negative 3, and then I square that. And when I square it, you're squaring the whole thing. And then at the end I'm going to take a square root. So let's do that, 4 squared is 16, negative 3 squared, negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9, so it's plus 9. So 16 plus 9 is 25, the square root of that is 5. So my radius in this case is 5. Let me erase all that work here. So 
So now in my equation, r is 5, 5 squared is 25, and that is my answer. So that's probably the most complex kind of example that they're really going to give you at this point. So once again, use the formula to derive the center and radius, or use the information they give you to plug into the formula, the center and radius, to write the equation. That's it.